Later this year, Northwestern Energy, the state's largest electric utility, will be filling its first general rate case in nearly a decade. It's too early to say whether Northwestern will be seeking a rate increase, but as MTN's Mike Dennison reports, Northwestern still starts out with some of the highest electric rates of any major utility in the region. As of January 1st, Northwestern Energy is charging household customers about 11.3 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. That's the highest rate of any large investor-owned utility in Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Oregon, or Washington for a comparable household. For a household consuming 800 kilowatt hours, that works out to about $95 a month. Only Portland General Electric customers consuming the same amount have a higher monthly average bill, about $99. That's because PGE charges customers a higher monthly minimum fee than Northwestern does. Household customers for most utilities in the region have average monthly bills in the $70 to $85 range. The lowest cost utility is Idaho Power, whose customers have an average monthly electric bill of about $71. They pay about 8.2 cents per kilowatt hour. Why are Northwestern Electric customers paying these high prices when market prices for electricity are at historic lows? One culprit, deregulation in the late 1990s. Northwestern's predecessor, Montana Power Company, sold off its power plants, and since 2007, when deregulation was repealed, Northwestern has been buying back those power sources. Most of the utilities have owned generation for a significant period of time. The cost of that generation goes down over time because of depreciation. So because Montana is just rebuilding its portfolio, those resources are a little bit higher cost relative to other utilities that have had them in ownership for an extended time period. Case in point, Montana Dakota Utilities, which serves eastern Montana, never deregulated or sold off its plants. Its electric rates are about 25% lower than Northwestern's. Another factor, Northwestern pays higher property tax rates than many other utilities. Those rates are passed on to ratepayers. But even if Northwestern halved its tax bill, its electric rates would still be the second highest in the region. Public Service Commission Chairman Brad Johnson says Northwestern ratepayers did get stuck with some high-cost assets in the past decade, but that it's getting better with time. If you look at 2007 to date, and I think this is important, actually the rate increases of this peer group in the region you're talking about have all on a percentage basis been greater than Northwestern's. Uh, so from that inflated starting point that was a result of market forces, really the record of rates has been, uh, been pretty good. So if you thought your Northwestern electric bill seemed relatively high this winter, you're right. But it hasn't changed all that much in the last few years. Mike Dennison, MTN News, Helena.